Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all the latest updates on the music industry. Today, we're diving into the latest legal drama surrounding NBA Youngboy, who's facing yet another felony gun charge. This new charge comes just days after he agreed to move his 2020 federal gun case out of Baton Rouge to Utah. Let's break down everything that's going on. Just when it seemed like NBA Youngboy, whose real name is Kentrell Galden, was making headway with his legal troubles, he's hit with another charge. On August 19th, federal prosecutors filed a new felon in possession of a firearm charge against him in the United States District Court for the District of Utah. This stems from his arrest in April, where authorities uncovered a large-scale prescription drug fraud ring involving Galden and others. As part of the investigation, Galden was found illegally possessing a six-hour P365-9 mm semi-automatic pistol. This is particularly serious because NBA Youngboy is considered a felon from a 2016 shootout case, which means he's banned from having any firearms or ammunition. What makes this situation even more complicated is that NBA Youngboy recently agreed to move his 2020 federal gun case out of Baton Rouge to Utah to enter a guilty plea. That case is tied to an incident where police arrested him and others during a 2020 music video shoot in Baton Rouge, where he was allegedly in possession of multiple firearms, including a 9mm handgun and a .45 caliber Glock. Having the case moved to Utah was supposed to make things easier for his legal team, as he's already being held in Utah and facing state charges there. But now with this new gun charge in Utah, it's a whole new layer of trouble for the rapper. So what's next for NBA Youngboy? The new felony gun charge could lead to up to 10 years in prison, fines, and supervised release. While federal judges don't usually sentence offenders to the maximum penalty, it's clear that Galden is facing some serious legal hurdles. He has upcoming court dates in both Weber County and Cache County for state charges tied to the same investigation. And don't forget, he still needs to enter that guilty plea for the 2020 Baton Rouge case now that it's been transferred to Utah. If he doesn't, the case could get sent back to Louisiana, where it might go to trial. NBA Youngboy's legal troubles continue to mount, and it's going to be an uphill battle for him and his legal team. We'll be watching closely to see how this plays out. Make sure you stay tuned for more updates right here on The Red Carpet Reup. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content on your favorite music industry news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.